Daytona Beach, Florida, home to Hangster's Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hangsters.com. It's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos we leave up at all times, whether they were shot five days ago or five years ago, and we use the same channel for both of our stores. However, when a vehicle is funded in full, that vehicle comes down off of hangsters.com, letting you know that particular unit has been sold. We are standing in our showroom located at 2385 South Ridgewood in South Daytona, Hangsters Garage. Here we install automotive parts and accessories for your classic car, for your truck, for your Jeep. We do lift kits, wheel and tire packages, uh, vintage air systems, digital dash changeouts, disc brake conversion kits. So uh, we also sell and ship parts around the uh, United States. So hangstersgarage.com. Uh, we are remodeling our showroom on Nova Road here in South Daytona. That'll be completed in about 10 days and uh, we'll be back to business as usual with a new and improved showroom. GTO 1967, a real popular year and that's what we have to present to you today. So let's give this car a, a look. 400 motor, uh, it is the non-numbers matching motor. Uh, the block is out of a 71 and this obviously is a 67. Um, I do have the PHS docks we will show you later in the presentation. Uh, that big gold thing in the back corner by the uh, driver's side firewall, that is the uh, brake booster. So the car does have power brakes. Uh, located under this fancy uh, radiator hose here, you have the uh, power steering reservoir, power steering. This fine little gem on the passenger side located above the uh, passenger side valve cover there is the AC compressor. So this car does have AC. Steering brakes, air, and AC. It is a 242 real GTO. Again, I have the PHS docks. We will have still photos of the PHS docks along with uh, you know, the PHS docks in this video presentation. Car started life black, but it's maroon now. Uh, it started life as an automatic, uh, started life uh, with a black interior. First, we'll check the paint on the top of the fenders and the top of the hood. Uh, Real nice paint on the car, uh, driver quality paint job, so it's not perfect, but uh, you know it, it presents nicely. Uh, it doesn't need to go to the body shop, doesn't need to have anything touched up or uh, fixed up. The chrome around the front headlights uh, is in good shape. It's not uh, pitted, it's not uh, patinaed. Uh, the iconic G67 GTO grille is in nice condition. That huge 67 GTO front bumper uh, in great condition as well. You can see around the bumper bolts, uh, the, the uh, bumper itself, uh, not uh, rusted, pitted, flaking, any, anything like that. Taking a walk around the driver's side of the car, we're going to check out the paint uh, on the uh, driver's side front fender. Hopefully you can see low there in front of the wheel and tire and of course uh, in the rear of the wheel and tire. Uh, nothing blistered, cracked or bubbled down there. Uh, same thing going on here in the center of the fender. Chrome wheel opening molding around your uh, brand new Pontiac Motor Division wheels. Beauty rings, wheels and beauty rings are brand new. And then of course you have your Co Cooper Cobra raised white letter uh, radial tires on there. Below you got the GTO badging there. And then of course that iconic uh, GTO rocker molding cover sits low to the ground. This one looks to be in good shape, both on the rocker and on the uh, driver door. Uh, window glass, let's take a look at the front windshield first. Uh, this is older glass in the vehicle. There is some faint scratching on the front windshield, on the rear windshield, um, and then on the, uh, the, the driver's uh, door glass, vent windows, there's some water stains. Uh, so we'll, we'll point that out in the video so you guys know they're there. Uh, one chrome mirror mounted on the driver's side door. I don't see anything, uh, nothing's chipped or cracked or uh, anything like that on the front windshield and the chrome uh, is in nice condition uh, going around the uh, front windshield of the car. Door fitment, body lines are both good on the vehicle. We'll uh, show you that as we uh, progress further around the car. Uh, the GTO 67 has a huge rear quarter so we'll take a shot down the side of the car. <laughs> you can see that the uh, Door lines up nicely to the rear quarter and to the front fender. 
and uh, all that uh, chrome down at the bottom low there and lines up nicely as well. I uh, don't know if you can see it in the video or not. I did tell you there is some water stains on the uh, glass. You know, that's something that you may or may not want to replace depending upon how, uh, you know, picky you are with your vehicles. Opening up the uh, driver's side door here. The door panel itself is in real nice condition. Most of the interior in this car is brand new, by the way. So we're going to show you that here in this video. Uh, let's take a look in the back seat real fast. See that the back uh, new headliner. Um, drivers. Does have a steering wheel on the car. We have the uh, car. Look at the center console when we're on the test drive. That way you guys can get a little bit better look at it. Let me put the uh, floor mat back in here so that it's not over our accelerator pedal. Um, dash looks to be in good shape as well. Take a closer look at the interior when we're actually on the test drive in the vehicle. Paint on the roof is in good shape as well. I don't see anything, you know, I have a little bit of light glare, but I'm up, you know, on my tippy toes. I don't see anything blistered, cracked, faded up there. Uh, same thing dropping down to the uh, rear quarter. So I told you the body lines on the car are in pretty, you know, pretty nice shape. You can see the uh, rear quarters nice and straight, driver door, front fender. And you know, you have your uh, lower uh, quarter cover here that continues on, you know, that started on the front fender and continues on to the rear quarter. You can see the paint down here, nothing's blistered or cracked up or anything like that. Rear window glass, again, same uh, as the rest of the car. The uh, glass very well could be original, um, but you know all of it kind of shows signs of age. The rear uh, glass is no exception, so uh, you know know that going in. Uh, chrome around the rear window, you know, looks nice. Looks like the chrome's newer. I'm not sure why they wouldn't have done the window when they did the chrome, but a huge deck lid on the uh, GTO 67. Uh, you can see it fits nicely to the rear quarters. Your gaps look to be pretty good for being such a large deck lid. Driver and passenger side gaps. You have your GTO badge there on the uh, end of the deck lid. Chrome on the rear bumper looks about the same as the front. Looks like they're both fairly new. Uh, you do have your chrome turn downs there underneath the uh, rear bumper. And then, of course, down low there is your reverse lights. <coughs> so let's check out this huge trunk. Simple trunk mat, no jack, no spare. We did not take them out. Trunk's nice and solid in the car. PHS docks, these will uh, be photographed and put online and they do come with the vehicle. Uh, let's get to the important stuff here. Uh, the car was equipped with power steering. Uh, the car was a 400. Again, I told you that the uh, date code on the 400 that's in there is out of a 71, so it's not the matching motor. Uh, transmission, automatic. Uh, straight line black was the original exterior color of the car. And then, of course, black on the interior. There was never a uh, vinyl top on the car, at least not from the factory. Of course, there's your Pontiac exterior finish colors and then your uh, little build card. That'll come with the car and it'll be photographed and put online. How straight is the passenger side of the car? It's real nice and straight down the rear quarter, down the uh, passenger side door, and of course on the front fender. GTO badge there on the rear quarter. Your uh, Lower arise at, you know, low.
partial restoration. I don't have any history on the build, you know, when the motor was done, when the tranny was done, uh, anything like that. But you can tell you got new front and rear bumpers. You have new interior, you have brand new wheels, you know, so somebody's put some money into this car. You have AC in the car. The AC does work, does blow cold. We'll show you that on the test drive. Uh, so the car's got a lot going for it. Um, you know, it's again, if it was a complete restoration, they would have done like the window glass and things like that, but uh, they didn't. That's up to you. A uh, door panel on the passenger side, same as the drivers, you know, they're brand new, armrest, uh, passenger side seat, bucket seats, you got a center console there, uh, automatic car, new retro radio. We'll figure out if that thing works when we're on the test drive. That's about a 50-50. Got your uh, iconic GTO grab bar there above the glove box. Real good looking. The, the, the inside of the car is practically brand new in, in every uh, in everything, every capacity of the uh, the interior of the vehicle. <clears throat> Uh, door fitment, check it out to the uh, front fender and to the rear quarter. Let me see what I got going on down here. That's just like a little drip mark or something. Might have been when we drove it over here, it splashed up off the road or something. So we'll get that uh, cleaned up. does look like there's a little uh, chip here out of the uh, passenger side door up front. Front fender, uh, again, check out right above that GTO badge on the lower rocker. You can see that the, uh, you know, this is where your problem childs are, where your blisters and your bubbles, you know, you usually all have a tendency to want to develop. Uh, nothing going on in this car, not in the rear and not in the front. Uh, top of the fender is real nice. Side of the fender here. Overall, a really good looking car. It is a driver quality 1967 Pontiac GTO. So, you know, if you're looking for a concourse quality car, um, or you're looking for a complete nut and bolt restoration, this is not your car. I showed you, uh, you know, a lot of stuff that's been upgraded on this car, the interior, the wheels, the tires, um, you know, a lot of the chrome, you know, the, the front and rear bumpers. So car's definitely got a lot, a lot going for it. And it's a 67, and it's a real GTO with PHS docks. So uh, <clears throat> we're going to take it back to the showroom, and we're going to throw it in the air and check out the undercarriage. And then shortly after that, we're going to drive it. Before we do that, I want to uh, encourage you to come to Daytona and check out this 1967 Pontiac GTO for yourself in person. Uh, we're going to be asking good money for the car, so uh, you might want to consider a, a, a little bit of a drive or a flight, you know, whatever your circumstances are, uh, to come and see it in person. We'll pull it outside for you. We'll let you check it out real good in the sunshine. We will uh, put it on the rack for you like we're going to do here in just a couple minutes. As soon as we get back to the showroom, let's check out the uh, undercarriage, floor pans, oil pan, tires, suspension components. We'll let you drive it. You can see how this 400 accelerates, how the car steers, how it stops, all that stuff. This way, when the car shows up to you, wherever you might be in the United States or in the world, there are zero surprises because you went over the car yourself. You were here. You looked at it. You drove it. Uh, you know, all that, all that stuff. Plus, when you're here, we can explain to you the... Uh, what comes with owning a classic car, you know, what type of oil to use, what type of fuel to use, you know, um, what to do when the car's in storage, you know, things of that nature. If you're not familiar, if you're a collector and you're already familiar with that, we'll skip that part. Of course, at the end of the day, we are an internet-based business, so we do the majority of our deals sight unseen. It's not uncommon for somebody to wire us a good portion of money for their uh, dream classic or collector car. We do it quite often, as a matter of fact. About 90% of our sales are done that way. But uh, if this is your first classic car purchase, or you know you are a very particular buyer, then I definitely encourage you guys to come and look at it for yourself, whatever vehicle you might be interested in. Plus, we'll show you our uh, brand new remodeled showroom and our entire uh, business operation here in Daytona Beach and our entire inventory. Let's take this thing over to the showroom We'll put it in the air and uh, do a little undercarriage presentation, and shortly after that, we will go on a test drive in our 67 GTO. Underneath our 67 GTO, disc brakes up front. You're not going to be able to see much of that 400 uh, oil pan simply because you got a big cross member here, a bunch of black up here, headers, starter. You know, we got about just about everything in the way, so I guess it's not leaking. 
Uh, no, seriously, I, I, I really can't see much of anything. I can see a couple bolts up front here. There's no uh, drips on those, but that's about all I can tell you. Uh, headers, both sides, driver and passenger. Uh, flywheel <laughs> is covered, plastic uh, flywheel cover there. The uh, Turbo 400 Transpan is uh, not leaking at this time. You know, these chrome oil pans, they have a tendency to want to leak. However, we did put a cork gasket on there. There was a rubber one on there that was leaking. Uh, we replaced it, so it's good to go right now. Speedo cable's not leaking. Speedo cable's nice and dry. You can see it going in the driver's side of the transmission. Um, I'm pointing these out because these are your problematic areas. So when you own this thing, you can, uh, if you got tranny fluid in the floor, you can check these three places first. And then, of course, your uh, tail shaft seal, that's dry as well. Uh, the exhaust system's nicely done. Uh, comes into a, a X pipe, Y pipe, whatever you want to call it. Two uh, mufflers on either side of the drive shaft. We'll show you here in just a couple minutes. Uh, the uh, floor pans on the car, um, in real nice condition. You can see uh, from the driver's side front all the way back there, um, all one solid piece. Then you got the uh, same thing going on on the passenger side. Uh, both floor pans, uh, really nice condition. In the uh, exhaust pipes, uh, mufflers, I don't see any rust holes, rod holes, pin holes, anything of a concern there. In fact, it does look like a fairly uh, newer uh, exhaust system, pipe system, P-Y-P-E-S. <clears throat> yes, you do see disc brakes in the rear, four-wheel disc brakes. Check out the area up there where the uh, rear end is going to sit when the car is on the ground. Um, all nice and solid up there, no rust holes, rod holes there. 12 bolt rear. Your exhaust pipes I showed you in the showroom, they come out either side, driver side, passenger side, directly next to the frame rail and exhaust tips uh, curve downward towards the floor. Uh, take a look, first of all, <coughs> driver side frame rail, real nice and solid. Passenger side frame rail, same deal. Nice car, 67 GTO. Before we set this car on the ground and take a test drive, let's talk about payment options. If you're a cash buyer, cashier's check or bank wire transfer. Bank wire transfer is generally the most common form of payment. Not too many people are uh, doing paper anymore, uh, but we do still accept them. It still spends the same way. It just takes a couple extra days. You know, funds got to clear, all that fun stuff. Wire transfer, the money's right there, boom, instantly. Financing. Collect car lenders we work with will do up to a 10-year loan on our classic cars. 10% down of the purchase price minimum. So if you're talking about a $50,000 car, you're talking about five grand out of pocket. Remaining balance is going to be financed through them. You can put down more if you'd like to, but you have to put down a minimum of 10%. And then the remaining balance done over that five to 10 year period, whatever it is you get approved for. <clears throat> Approvals are based on credit score, debt to income ratio, time on the job, time at your residence, price of the car, so on and so forth. So. No matter what your uh, lending method or payment method, uh, once the vehicle is funded in full, we put the vehicle through a pre-delivery inspection process. They're old cars. Anything can stop working. Anything can stop leaking. Anything can fail at any given time. Therefore, we put it through one last final inspection. Uh, torque the lug nuts, check the tire pressure, check brake lights, reverse lights, uh, you know, uh, wipers, turn signals, everything. Once that uh, inspection, outgoing inspection is completed, uh, we call a carrier for pickup before the ones handling the shipping. Typically, we can have a truck here within 48 hours. Sometimes it's a little longer, so bear with us, but I promise you, we get your vehicle on its way to you just as soon as possible. We know you're excited to get the car, or truck, or SUV. We're excited to sell it to you and have your business, so we do work quickly. The car goes <coughs> funding, through inspection, through detail, dispatched to a carrier, and on its way to you. And then delivery time, of course, depends where you're located in the United States or in the world, uh, how many other vehicles are on board, driver sleep times, weather conditions, you know, things of that nature. But again, the whole process is a lot faster than you might think it is. Let's set our 67 GTO down on the ground. We'll take the car out on the test drive and we'll show you how the vehicle runs out. Inside our 1967 GTO, we have a horn, a turn signal, driver, passenger, Wipers. Uh, let's see if this radio works. Oh. So it does.
does work. I don't know if I can get a station in here. There you go, radio. Uh, tack. Tack's working. Uh, let's see, 74,411 is the mileage on the odometer. Uh, title reads exempt, so true miles unknown. Gas gauge works. Uh, your gauges are down below there. Uh, temp will come up. Uh, we just started the car about two minutes ago, right before we uh, got our video going here. Uh, 14 volts on the battery, and then of course 60 PSI on the, uh, about 63, 64 at idle. Uh, PSI on the oil pressure, going up to 80 when I give it uh, gas. Uh, center console looks to be possibly, could be original, uh, maybe not, or uh, definitely not an older car. A little bit of bubbling on the uh, brown wood grain there. Oh, let's check the AC. Okay, let's see. Uh, working and blowing cold. Nice. Almost forgot the car had AC. Uh, headliner, like I told you in the showroom, nice shape. Uh, rear view mirrors, brand new. Clarity out of the rear view mirrors, fantastic. Uh, dash pads, nice. No rips, tears, fades in it. Take it on a test drive, see how the thing runs up. Inside our 67 GTO, the vehicle tracks nice and straight when you let go of the wheel. Hopefully, by me letting go of the wheel and you see in the steering wheel, you can see there's no tire vibration in the front end. There's no vibration in the motor or tranny. The steering in the car is real nice and tight. Uh, I got a good ride on the, uh, on the tires. Uh, no vibrations again whatsoever in, in the seat, in the floor, in the steering wheel, the shifter, the uh, motor tires real nice smooth ride uh, speedometer is functioning and is accurate it's got a tiny tiny bit of a wave to it nothing uh, too drastic though uh, pretty good for uh, all the speedometers I see uh, see temps coming up we've been running I don't know 10 minutes now uh, temps starting to come up oh brakes look look at that perfect real nice Again, uh, four-wheel disc, no uh, vibration, pulsation out of the uh, brakes whatsoever. Figure out what this Jeep's going to do. He can't figure out which lane he wants to go in. Motor's got good power. That's 75. I'm turning it off there. Uh, bang through the gears perfectly. Uh, nice and uh, crisp, smooth shifts. You see, we're tracking 60 miles an hour right now. Nice car. Car has a lot going for it. Uh, you have AC in the thing. Uh, you know, you have a, a PHS documentation. Car is a good color. Uh, all pretty much brand new interior. Runs nice. You know, 67, of course, probably the most popular year for the GTOs. You know, we sell 64s, 5s, we sell 70s, 71s, you know, the, the your two GTO fanatics always have a tendency to gravitate towards the 67s, it's, it's a great looking car, so, uh, you know, it'll be interesting to see how, uh, how long this one lasts in our showroom. Here we go, stopping again. Car stops real nice. Uh, temp, we're good. You know, you got a 400 here. It's about probably 80 degrees right now in Daytona. Uh, the uh, temperature is about 180. Got a functioning radio, new retro style radio. Um, you know, a lot of the uh, wood grain up here around the uh, dash portions is new. You can tell maybe around the AC controls, heat controls there, it's a little dated. Uh, but, uh, you know, it, it, it's a driver quality 1967 GTO that's got good mechanical guts. It's a nice solid car straight car good driver quality paint phs docks you see we're sitting here at idle we're not stalling out spitting and sputtering the tax holding pretty steady you know it's within uh you know a couple rpm there 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in daytona beach hangsters.com is our website it's where you can see all the photos of the 67 
goat today, along with this video presentation we're doing for you right now. At full retail price, the 67 goat includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty covers the engine, the transmission, and the rear end, internal components, major mechanical breakdowns. It's not going to cover valve cover leaks, uh, oil pan gasket leaks, uh, you know, tail shift seal leaks, batteries, starters, alternators. The warranty contract will actually spell out for you. Here is what is covered. Here is what is not covered. Do you have to bring the car back to Hangsters or to Florida? No, you do not. You can take it to any ASC certified facility in the United States. So 90% of them are. So you could probably take it to the same person that's working on your daily driver. Is the price of the 67 GTO negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. Warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. We ship on an enclosed carrier. We call the driver to make the pickup arrangements. Uh, we make the delivery arrangements. We write the check for the transport. At a negotiated price, you're just going to do all those things yourself. Of course, if you're local to us here in Daytona, you want to drive this 67 GTO home, you most certainly can do that. We also have a lot of collectors. Maybe you have your own open or enclosed carrier trailer. You want to come trailer the car home? Maybe make a, a short little trip out of it to a three-day weekend here in Central Florida. You can do that as well. We'd love to earn your business, add you to our growing customer base, not only throughout the United States, but throughout the entire world. We do export these vehicles as well. Ask us how we can get the uh, car to your port in your country. Uh, we can handle all that for you also. Hangsters Hot Rods, Daytona Beach, Florida, hangsters.com. Check us out.